Welcome to Miami 47. The innovation race is on its last day and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Oh. 
I heard a couple of the guys talking earlier. They said the car was behaving erratically that last lap before the accident. I think anyone you know, helped make the accident. Hey, Spanner I just need to talk. Hey, Spanner Monk. Okay, this is you. You're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? Suppose I am. Great, this is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone, look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last minute. I need you ready and able. You, rookie. Grab your number. Hey, 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 hey. Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your stations, now! Get down. Next up, Robert Knox. What the hell just happened? Sierra! What just happened? Hey there, big boy. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew. The guy's a genius, and you know what I like. He's probably lacking in his respect for other people. 
Last time, I tried to have a meeting with him. He had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up right here. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a defense funding... Con Not here. Command! Command! You there? There's a killer going crazy. Hey! What's going on? I strongly suggest. Sir. say something provocative now to enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired. WB. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead. Make my day. Thank you. 
What's the hold up, Mendez? Just scan one of the pictures. My brains, your money. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I still prefer the human touch. You're part of an old institution and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct engagement. I guarantee. This thing will absolutely murder anything you put it up against. Sounds promising. So, Mr. Mendez, impressive so far, yeah? Let me quickly show you our on-site robotics lab. It's small, but state-of-the-art, and it's fully mobile, so you can deploy it anywhere. Hello, sir. So, as part of the deal, Kronstadt will throw in one deployment cell per five units. Outfitted to enable on-site adjustments and calibrations, it'll be shipped in a bulletproof shell and can be dropped anywhere on the planet using... I don't have time to play games. Come on back here. As part of the deal, Kronstadt will throw in one deployment cell per five units. Outfitted to enable on-site adjustments and calibrations, it'll be shipped in a bulletproof shell and can be dropped anywhere on the planet using the Kronstadt T-37 deployment drones. So if you have any questions or want to see anything again, just let me or McKinnis know. I'll let you hang out and look at everything for yourself. Hey, don't be a stranger, Ted. I'd like to see the demonstration again, please. I can't blame you, Ted. It's pretty impressive. But the engineers just need to recalibrate things. Won't be too long. Ask me or McKinnis again later. You need to back off now. Gets down. Well done, Fortis. Head for a next and we'll speak again soon.
Hello, sir. Look at You're a patriot, sir, I can tell. Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. <laughs> you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. <laughs> 